on a number of other subjects. Um, but we are focused on structural racism today, in part because we raise racism and sponsoring this event, but also because this is an issue that we think is not discussed very much. Um, and you'll be able to tell us by the end of this workshop how many new things you've learned. And we'll do the post survey and we'll get to see to know to what extent this really is something that you haven't learned about in any depth before. Okay? So I wanted to make clear that um, all of these things are very important. And you have your whole self in the room today. And then we are just focusing um, as much as we possibly can, even though you'll see there are other things that come up too during the discussion. But we're really trying to help you understand structural racism. That's what we're doing. Okay. Hi, my name is Angel Alvarado, and I am a senior at Brentwood High School. And I was so fortunate to attend the Erase Racism Conference here at St. Joseph's College. So I was very happy to have attended this event today because I got to learn so much about other students and their experiences in their districts. And I think it's really important that we talk to people from all walks of life, especially people that we might never have gotten to interact with because by speaking to these students here, I learned so much about what they've done in their districts and I think it's great that I'm able to take that back and learn uh, all of these skills that I can take back to my district and use to address racism and hopefully make my learning environment better for both myself and other students around me. Definitely something that I can take back to improve my community and my school is a lot of the strategies that students talked about. They talked about creating clubs, talking to advisors, and just meeting with officials. And that's really great because it really starts the conversation on racism. And that's probably the, the most important and the first step that should be taken because by addressing racism, we definitely make it easier for people to talk about what issues are prevalent and what issues should be addressed. That way we know firsthand amongst all of us how we can fix them because we'll have addressed what needs to be fixed. that I came here. Uh, I learned a lot about racism today. I didn't know it had such an everlasting effect on us. I didn't know that really history of racism and I didn't know that it was such a big problem and that it's still going on today. I feel like I learned a lot about racism today and what we could do to stop it. Asia Rivera and I love this. It's actually very educating and how Long Island is very definitely segregated. Um, it's segregated in many different ways and aspects, especially in schools. It definitely shows because um, they, I feel like from the older generations, what happens at home definitely shows in school. And I learned that um, there's only one race and I love knowing that and everyone should just be accepted for who they are. <laughs> 